Good morning, friends. In the Christian tradition on Easter morning, the standard greeting when we first encounter one another is, He is risen. And the answer to the greeting is, He has risen indeed. So as we, as we begin this Easter morning, I greet you with, He is risen. And I hear your response. Let us pray. Dear God, on this Easter morning, we come before you with joy, the kind of joy that cannot be contained, the kind of joy felt by children on Christmas and Easter morning, with that kind of joy that causes giggling excitement and wobbly knees. We come before you in celebration of the empty tomb, and we also come in celebration of how the empty tomb is the proof of the fullness of our lives. As we pray this morning, I invite you to pause and focus on the joy that's in your heart this day. I want you to push away sadness or despair. Just push it out of your life. Push aside all thoughts that are trying to take away your joy today. Push them away. Do it now. As we continue and pray, friends, this is a day for joy. This is a day for thanksgiving. This is a day for praise. Praise God. Praise the promise of eternal life. Praise all the sounds of trumpet and tambourine in your life. Amen. Friends, as we gather this morning, we read the words from the 150th Psalm, the last of the Psalms. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise him for his mighty deeds and praise him according to his surpassing greatness. Praise him with trumpet sound. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with clanging cymbals. Praise him with loud, clashing cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hosanna. Blessed is he that comes. Hosanna in the highest. On this Easter morning, I hope and pray, may the Lord be with you now and forever. Happy Easter. He is risen.